Atención, advertencia, el siguiente video va a patear traseros. Si te encantan los mini camiones y vehículos tuneados, haz clic en el botón de me gusta a continuación. Que lo disfruten. Sir, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a great day. We are at it again. Been cranking out some work early this morning. I probably got firecracker hair. I haven't even looked in the mirror. It's all good. I don't care. Really quick, I would like to take two minutes out of your time before we progress with the video. Very important, please. If you like the build, comment down below. If you don't like the build, comment down below. I need to know what works for the channel. Also, while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the algorithms out with YouTube. I've been paying a lot of attention to that stuff lately, trying to grow the channel, make it bigger. So, with that being said, let's get started. Yeah, baby. The old Texas boot style shock mount came in clutch this morning. Got our shock situated nice, very happy. I want to show you something. All right, I'm fixing to go inside to have breakfast. I turned the fan off. So, currently, these are the shocks we were given to use for the car. They would be correct. They would slide in through the coil, come up through the tower, bolt through here. Well, we can't use them uh, in that situation because we're using airbags. So, have to press these out in the vise. This is what comes out, and then you're left with a giant gaping hole, and you say to yourself, what in the hell am I supposed to do now? Ah, I'm gonna show you. So on Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description. These shock mounts, they go right into the hole, in through here, here's your other bushing, you put your nuts on, you're good to go, and then you've got a an alternate style of mounting this to uh, to the you know lower control arm. I chose to drill a half inch hole and weld the stud to the arm. And she's great, man. She floats nice. Only thing I'm concerned with, and I don't think I'm going to have a problem, would be the wheel hitting this. Um, the original shock mounts were right about here, anyway. So. I, I don't think I'm gonna have an issue. Another thing I was working on this morning, I went to the hardware store, picked up some parts. Obviously, I'm not gonna use this. I need to know how much, uh, man, this car is dirty. How much um, of a spacer I need to make. So if you look, and again, the pitman arm's not bolted in all the way, but if you look, the tie rod, the sleeve is parallel to the control arm, that's what we want. So I need to have an adapter made or a male Himes joint with a spacer and then bolt it to one another. So I gotta make some phone calls on that. Currently we're working on the passenger side. Finally, my, um, my round grinding stone came. That thing looks beautiful almost looks like it was machined so this part is going to sit inside here it's going to get bolted on it's very important that it maintains the same um you know shape for the control arm we're going to bolt that on once this is bolted on we're going to weld all this up <clears throat> got gussets in here really nice make it strong um shock mounts obviously going to go here my cowboy boots uh yeah so once this is all done and all this is done. I'm gonna pull the engine out, sit it on the floor, flip the frame upside down, and then there's some other stuff that I'll have to weld once I get the, you know, to that destination. But one thing at a time, one day at a time, always trying to stay busy, always trying to make progress. And remember, comment on the build. Hey, I like what you're doing. Please send it. Hey, I don't like what you're doing. Please send it. My man, I promise you, you will not hurt my feelings. I have thick skin. And I know in the end, at the end of the day, I'm doing a great job on this car. So, gonna make some more progress and we'll see you in a hot minute.
ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today. Gonna try something different. Hopefully it works out well. We'll see, but tomorrow's another day. Gotta take the cat to the vet. We'll be back out here tomorrow. Same time, same channel, baby. Well, my wheels came, they fit. I have minimal trimming that I need to do. I didn't expect, well, I did expect, but I'm gonna see if I could do this like this. I've gotta trim this out right in here, which isn't really a big deal to get these to fit. They will clear, but I wanna give myself some extra, uh, you know, extra breathing room. So I'm gonna grind this whole thing out. This is what I'm gonna do today. I need to take a break off the wagon. That lip looks beautiful though. So we'll see, getting these tires mounted. That tire has to go on here. This tire has to go on there. Should work out just perfect. Morning guys. Gonna have a little heart to heart. It has been absolutely fucking brutal. Not even gonna lie. I'm sorry to drop the F-bomb. This is as real as it's getting. Um, the Samurai has been nothing but a nightmare. So today's Wednesday. My buddy Adam's coming over tomorrow to help me with the wagon, making some plates and setting up to seam the two rails together. I swear, I feel like there's a black cloud over my fucking head. And I'm like, I'm not even kidding you, man. I'm up to here. Let me show you something. I wanted to take a break yesterday and work on the Samurai. Well, my wheels finally came, five and four and three quarter, except he made the wheels a half an inch wider and they won't tuck because there's not enough room. So I don't know what in the hell I'm gonna do. I'd have to cut everything back out. That's one thing. The second thing, I go from the garage over there, driving it over here to pull it in here. Check this out. Because I have, you know, the wires just sitting in there, my fucking ignition switch burns up yesterday on this. Almost started a fire. This wire right here, which is an igniter for the alternator, it arced onto, you see it right there, onto the chassis. I don't know. I didn't think I didn't think it had power to it. Apparently it did. Well, yeah, that was no good. So it burnt up my ignition. I had to resolder the ignition. My man, I am 120% keeping it real with you guys. It's been absolutely fucking chaos. My, I've got rheumatoid arthritis. My hands are killing me from doing so much work i have to go back to work to make money to put you know in the bank account there are no jobs in michigan upstate new york pennsylvania connecticut massachusetts texas florida not that i would work in florida because it's too fucking hot and their scale is horrific um, I just, bro, I'm up to here. I really am. That doesn't mean that I'm going to half-ass the wagon by no means. What I'm getting at is, is like, I, man, I, I swear, I feel like there's a fucking black cloud over my head. I really do. And I just, I can't take it no more. I've had it. I really, truly, truly had it. Like, I had to get this out. I wanted to talk to you guys and tell you like some of the reality of my end, what I'm dealing with over here. Whether you choose to hear it or don't want to hear it, I mean, it's me. It's real. This is real. 100% real. I had to take some pieces off the other samurai. There's a rail that goes up underneath here. I got to stretch this over this way. 
Um, my son took the snaps off the other samurai. So now I have a safari top in case it rains. Been wanting to put that on. Uh, I put my put my uh, window molding in in here. All that felt and stuff. Put the weather stripping inside here. Eh, yeah, it's another little thing I just did yesterday because I don't even want to get into it. This was kinked. This was bent up. I had to bend it back down. The window wouldn't close. But I don't even want to get into that. Why that was like that. But on a good note, front end is all together on the wagon. Uh, nothing else really I can do up here until the frame is upside down. Got to pull the engine out, obviously. So today I'm going to work on cleaning up the side of the frame. I got to take, take all this bullshit off, clean it up, make some templates, set everything up for tomorrow. I've got a two by four sheet of quarter inch steel. I'm going to stitch this all together with. Hopefully in a couple of days, the rails will be here. We can swap them out and get this thing finished. Yep, that just happened. Unbelievable. All right, so yesterday, did some tire switching. My rear wheels came. They made them a half inch larger, the lip. Yeah. 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 That's why I'm so upset with myself because of all this. The wheels fit. I've got clearance. They look amazing, but that should have never have happened. It should have absolutely never have happened. I installed my safari top. Had to rob some pieces off my samurai. I got to change some buttons. Pull this, pull this over a scotch, set it. But uh, overall, it's been one of those days. It's been one of those weeks. It's been one of those months. It's been one of those years. I just keep remaining positive and I mean this in the most sincerest way it's killing me to share this with you guys but it's the truth and the truth will set you free alright guys just remember these are the wrong frame rails but I want to just give you an idea on how strong this is gonna be um, gonna finish welding all inside of here not right now we're gonna stop at the edge where my finger is on both sides till we get the new frame rails but yeah that's diesel gonna cap the top nice and flush um, and then same on the bottom but uh, pretty dang good man pretty good I've hopped a shit ton of cars in my career <laughs> I built some serious hydraulic cars and never had any issues with frames cracking or splitting in half or anything of that nature. So I trust my work, I trust my instinct, and I feel confident at the end of the day when this is all said and done, this is gonna be rock solid. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud, extra proud to show you my results. Well, a buddy helped me too, but it's the two of us. It's combined effort. So when combined heads make contact, this is the result. Bam! Got our cross member in for the trans, tacked in. Gonna need to drill some holes. Obviously, 7 16 bolts will come through. Uh, our stiffeners are in. 
for the frame to join the frames together man that looks really freaking good shelly you are lucky you are one lucky son of a gun this shit looks better than my shit obviously you all know the frame rails don't belong on this but just to give you an idea i like to visualize still need to correct the angle because this angle was set for the old frame but uh that looks fucking awesome sorry i just dropped the f-bomb so gentlemen this build wouldn't be possible if i hadn't found ss chassis works they've been very good to me been very good to shelly and brandon with this build helping us out that looks beautiful 100 percent. and i just want to give credit where credit's due i would have had some two by four box tubing pie cuts and all that shit this is like night and day and it really isn't all that expensive so basically what i'm getting at is if you want to back half your truck or car give him a call steven north carolina really quick on his turnarounds you send him what you need he'll build you a notch he'll build you a back half of a subframe he'll build you a whole frame rail if you want and you can you know put everything on it from your old chassis dude this shit is gorgeous so guys i've said it before and i'll say it again if you like the build comment down below if you don't like the build comment down below you will not hurt my feelings i promise you it is important that i get your feedback on the build if you're not commenting on the build chances are you're skipping over this part so without you these videos are not possible that is true and accurate information we are going to pull the ripcord that's going to do it for today that'll do it for this video we got to wait for the frame rails to come catch you on the next one remember when life throws lemons at you you got to make lemonade not lemon juice have a great day.